This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with more than 13,000 classes taught by professionals in design, photography, and much more. You can learn many useful skills to advance your career or just have fun. Click the link in the description to get unlimited access to Skillshare for free for two months. If you like the service, then stay for around 10 bucks a month or cancel with absolutely no obligation. Click the link in the description to get started. What is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this video, I want to show you my workflow for color grading fire and fume effects renders in Adobe After Effects. So uh, what you're seeing right now is what we're going to be creating today. And uh, this is the before in full display. And the first thing that I really notice when I bring in my fume effects work is that things are very choppy for me. And I sim this at a very good setting, at a very uh, high resolution. But even when you're doing a 4K export, things can get a little bit choppy and this is completely okay. So if you're working on something and things don't look right and they look a little, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, that, that they're not rendered properly, it's okay, I get this too. And, uh, you know, before I begin, let me just give a big shout out to, uh, you know, FX High for making this tutorial. And this is a really good video and it basically shows how uh, this person does their film effects renders and uh, simulations. But, uh, you know, this was a little too advanced uh, e even for me. And I'm a simple person who uses film effects and after effects a lot. And while this is really good and I highly recommend that you check this out, uh, my video is going to be a little more towards uh, run and gun kind of people. So, uh, you know, so uh, I, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So here's my, uh, you know, sequence. I'm going to bring this into my After Effects. So I don't do anything special. I just, you know, render a simple PNG sequence, right? And I import it by just, you know, simply PNG sequence. Sometimes I work with Taja, but that's it. Once I have my sequence in After Effects, I take this into a new composition and here I have this thing, right? And uh, basically, uh, the first thing that I do to hide these choppy renders is I uh, take, I mean, I select my, uh, my, my layer and I go to FX and presets and I type in uh, RSMB. So this is real smart motion blur and this is by uh, Revision FX, so check them out. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description as well. And basically what this does is that it adds a uh, motion blur to 3D sequences, right? So it applies natural looking motion blur by, uh, you know, tracking every pixel. I have no idea what it means, but basically gets the work done. And uh, I apply RSMB Pro, right? So take this Pro, apply it to the footage, right? And basically that's it but sometimes if you think that this is not enough you can take the blur amount up to one but anything in my opinion over one is overkill so i don't even go to one it just 0.75 uh, is good for me and the thing i like about this effect is that it really adds that uh energy reveal kind of thing so uh, you know something this powerful and explosion and fire is really going to have a lot of fast movements and energy so the blur really looks good and uh, as you can see it works really well okay the next thing that that, that, that i like to do is i like to uh, add a new adjustment layer so um, adjustment layer new adjustment layer and i'm going to apply hue and saturation to this so hue saturation and uh, basically what this is, is that it's going to change the color for us. So when I'm working with fume effects, I find it really difficult to uh, get the colors right for fires and explosions and, uh, you know, those sort of things. So what I do is I like to work, you know, get this right in After Effects. So in, in Human Saturation, Master Hue, I'm going to change, I'm going to bring this down to, say, minus 3, minus 5 somewhere. Uh, up the saturation, Master Saturation, up it to, say, 20 and master lightness i'm going to bring this down to minus 10 uh, and as you can see we're making a big difference already right and uh, this looks good to me next i'm going to go to channel control and i'm going to choose reds and in here i'm going to change this to minus 3 minus 5 you can give this a shot you know experiment and see what works best for you uh, red saturation i'm going to take this up to plus 10 and same thing uh, bring down the lightness to minus 10 minus 5 something uh, in yellows now this is something where you can experiment and see what works best for your shot and for your uh, work but basically what this does is that it it is basically going to give you a yellow flame or a more you know reddish flame so uh, you can if you up the yellow hue 
you're really gonna see you know that nice yellow flame uh, make it five uh, up the yellow saturation a little right and yellow lightness bring this down to say minus five and there you go but in my opinion minus five or uh, this setting looks really good so minus two minus three works well but if you want a yellow flame go for you know something in the positive value okay so this is what we do with hue and saturation and as you can see we're making a big difference over here this looks good to me uh, let's just do a quick preview and uh, yes this looks very very nice uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another adjustment layer to this so adjustment layer name this glow and you can work with real glow it's another third party plugin but uh, I, I, I just work with normal glow it gets the work done so um, let's go here and apply glow to this so apply glow and as you can see it's not doing much it's, it's actually spoiling the shot and the first thing I do in glow is I go is, is I go to glow threshold and I increase this to 80 85 90 somewhere you know in that range next and I this is the important part I up the glow radius to a very high number like 500 or 600 or something like that so I'm gonna take it to 500 on this and uh, this is what really looks good so as you can see it looks really good and you can up the glow even more you know to, to disperse the glow effect and the more you bring it down is that it's, it's, it's gonna be more focused on the fire so I really like to keep it to about 600 on this shot so it you know spreads out evenly works with the multiple scatter and looks really nice so this is before this is after and uh, this looks really good to me now the best thing about walking like this is that we are working with our judgment layers and if anything feels too intense we can always bring it down so uh, as you can see glow looks a little too much over here so we can actually bring down the opacity of the adjustment layer so if I bring it down to say you know 50 60 so this way I still have a little bit of glow on my shot and it's not very powerful where it is not looking good and spoiling the entire thing right and uh, if you feel and if you have the time for it you can actually animate the opacity so you can have it really be you know nice glowy at the start and then bring down the opacity for a certain frame where it doesn't look good so this is how I work with my fume effects renders in Adobe After Effects. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something today. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Thank you.